Hello everyone, in light of today's election day, today I'll be talking about democracy versus monarchy. So first of all, for uh, the people who like, don't know anything about this, uh, these two are uh, gov uh, types of governments in countries. And there are a lot more uh, types of governments like communism and stuff, but uh, the uh, democracy and monarchy are the two biggest government types in the world with democracy being highest and some countries even sharing both like Cambodia and Thailand uh, which has a king and uh, a prime minister but I'll be talking about that later so I'll be going into depth on both of them I'll be talking about what makes each of them good and then after that I'll be comparing them and telling you which one I think is better so first I'll start off with democracy. What is it? So democracy in, uh, started in Greek. It meant to the, uh, the people's power or like the choosing of the people. So the people got to pick who they wanted to rule their country. So that is inher inherently what democracy is. The people have power to choose who they want to rule over their country. So the people could pick uh, who was best fit to rule over the country uh, instead of a king. A king would be in a monarchy and I'll explain how the king system works later. And in a democracy some people enjoy it more because uh, citizens have more rights and citizens get to pick so that means uh, if we had a bad king the citizens would also not have to suffer because they could just not pick a bad president. Now for uh, number two, the perks of democracy. So I've already explained some of the perks, but I'll get into more of them. So with democracy, uh, people don't uh, rule for like their entire life. For example, kings, they rule for their entire life. So like uh, 50 years, maybe 60 years at most, uh, probably. Uh, but for presidents or prime ministers, they rule for as long as the country uh, holds their elections for so for example uh, America holds their elections every four years so they switch presidents every four years and uh, some country hmm? that's always switch right it doesn't always switch, yes. Sometimes they pick the same person, but I was just gonna get into that. Now, some countries have rules. So for America, they have a law that states that no president can be in government for more than two times. So more than two periods of government. So they can only be two times like in a row and then they can never uh, be a president ever again. Right, so uh, that allows for more leadership for a country. So for some people in their entire lives, if they were living with a king, uh, like a king was ruling their country, for their entire lives, they would. Uh, some people might have only seen one king rule, while most people would have seen like 20 prime ministers slash presidents rule. Now moving on to a monarchy. What is a mon what is a monarchy? Mm -hmm. So a monarchy is when a country has a king or a queen or an emperor as their ruler. Kings, queens, and emperors are from one bloodline. It's the royal bloodline of that country. Uh, and that royal bloodline will continue to rule. And most countries, uh, some countries have different rules. Like for example, uh, most countries take the oldest son of the king to become the next king. But uh, some countries have this different rules uh, some countries pick the oldest daughter or just uh, they fight over they have like a competition to fight over who becomes king and uh, there are other ways of monarchy <laughs> And how it works? Well, like I explained, it's passed down from generation to generation through their bloodline. So if they have royal blood in them, they have a chance of being on the throne. But the rules vary from country to country. But most countries, like I said, take the oldest son. 
Now I will be comparing the perks of uh, monarchy. So for monarchy, if they have a good king, they most of the time uh, have a very good life. Because if you have one good king and that king rules for like 50, 60 years, a period of 50 and 60 years of happiness is a very long period. But uh, it can also have some consequences. Like for example, in uh, Greek uh, Roman uh, civilization, they had a king called Tarquin the Proud, which was a very bad king in their opinion. And their citizens had to wa wage war on their own king and take him down. And that's when uh, they invented democracy for Rome. They invented democracy for them. <laughs> Now I'll be comparing the uh, comparing both mon uh, democracy and monarchy. So uh, for democracy, it lets the people choose. The people get to have what they want, and they, if they are smart, they get to pick a good leader which can uh, lead the country to go to do better stuff. But for a monarchy, it's passed down through bloodlines, and most kings are pretty smart because they have education. But uh, some other kings, they they might still be smart but they uh, rule in very different ways and they might make their citizens unhappy like Tarquin the Proud but for kings that are good they make their country very good but in my opinion I think a democracy is better than a monarchy because democracies allow the citizens to choose so that gives the citizens more like willpower and stuff and that marks the end of my presentation if you have questions you can ask me So in democracy, how you can choose the leader? Uh, you, it's usually through voting. So every, uh, every like for example, in America, every four years in Cambodia, I think it's every five years, uh, they have election. Uh, they have election day and election day is when people go to a designated location that the government makes and it's usually uh, a location for each province in Cambodia but in America each states have like uh, multiple locations because states are very big and they go there they, they have like this form they pick the leader that they want and yeah and, uh, so you say some countries has democracy and with the monarchy. monarchy yes so how, how is it uh so i'm not sure how it works for other countries but for cambodia we uh, have a king and we have a prime minister if there is a monarchy and a democracy in one country uh the king i mean the president will not be called the president they will be called a prime minister and the king will have some say in government work like for example the king can agree on who on who should be like who from uh, each I don't know the English word for it a uh, party party yes who from each party uh, can uh, be allowed to rule as prime minister like they can the party can pick one and the king will uh, agree and for laws the king will also be able to pass or like uh, disagree on uh, lawmaking <laughs> So in monarchy has a prime minister or not? No, for monarchy there is no prime minister. There is either hmm? monarchy there's no prime minister. In no. Monarchy country. Mon uh countries that only have a monarchy don't have a prime minister oh. if they have monarchy and democracy like Cambodia or England or Thailand uh, they have a prime minister monarchy doesn't always mean there's only uh, there is a prime minister so how about Brunei Brunei in Asian country that's it do you know about it in or uh, is Brunei the, the one who took over, like the soldiers took over their country? No. No. Brunei Jerusalem is a small country. Yes, I know about the country, I just don't know about the government. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank yes, you. thank you. Goodbye.